2022 is going to be one of the best years of my life. I suppose you could say this is ultimately my main goal for the year. This title does two things. The first one, it makes you click on a video so you have to listen to me talk about my goals, which quite frankly, I'm very sorry. Number two, it helps me manifest my goal. You see, research shows that by sharing your goals publicly, you have a 65% chance of succeeding. I have others that I want to share with you today, but that's my main one. Have a f awesome year. The first category of goals that I have this year are related to my online presence or lack thereof. You see, I've always been really passionate about YouTube content and making Instagram content and just content in general. As you can clearly see from my um, YouTube uploading schedule over the last year. Obviously, I didn't do very well last year, but I'm hoping to change that this year. So here are my goals. This year, I want to, one, post no less than once a fortnight to this here YouTube channel. Considering that I uploaded two videos last year, that's about a 13 times improvement on what I did last year. So it's not much, just a marginal improvement. So it should be fine. The second goal I have in this category is I want to post to Instagram once a week. I need to take photos more often. I really like taking photos, so I, I think it couldn't hurt to post on Instagram. I mean, I get out and take more photos. Couldn't hurt, really. Overall, that equates to two videos and four posts on Instagram a month. Uh, I think this is quite doable. I, I think it would make me feel good if I could tick this off every month and it's just gonna help me reach my goals. The second category of my goals for 2022 is related to traveling. Me and my beautiful girlfriend went on our first overseas trip together last year to New Zealand. It was just awesome. I've definitely caught the travel bug and I have plenty of goals for this year for what I want to do. So the first travel goal I have is to go on one overseas trip. Yeah, I have a plethora of places that I would like to grace with my presence over the coming years. I would love to go to one of the ones where I have to swim or fly on a plane. But yeah, and that would just be great. I would love to get overseas at least once this year, whether it's for a week or, I don't know, a little bit longer. It just would be ideal. Uh, the second goal I have is to go on six weekend getaways. Um, this is ideal because I work full time, so I get weekends off. So I need to try and capitalize on that and get to as many places as possible around the beautiful Australia, which is where I live. To be honest, I don't know if this is a lot of holidays, but uh, I don't really care because it sounds like a bloody good time and um, I, don't, I just want to get out there, you know? So my third goal is to plan two overseas trips for 2023. I'm hoping in 2023 that it'll open up a little bit more and I have more chance of going overseas. This means I can also save some money for going overseas and that would just be a good time, I reckon. So yeah, I have these three main travel goals and the fourth one is to, whilst I'm doing this, make four travel videos. So yeah, you could hope to see these videos grace the uh, YouTube channel or maybe even my Instagram in the coming 12 months. Uh, so yeah, the third category of goals is self-development. Yeah, I won't hustle for 24 hours a day for eight days a week, but I will work on myself. The first goal that I have is to read 12 books. So this means one book a month. Considering that I haven't read since last year and it's currently the 18th of January, I'm not on a good start, but I, I do believe I can make this happen. And I think that reading is really important to gain a lot of knowledge and just learn through other people's experiences. The second goal I have is to, as my mum would say, get off that damn phone. To be fair to my mum, I don't think she's ever actually said this to me, but she should, because I spend way too much time on my phone. I have a little bit of a crippling phone addiction, because um, why wouldn't you want to just go on TikTok for hours instead of cleaning your room? It's a lot easier, it's a lot more fun. So yeah, pretty much I want to reach phone sobriety. Number three is I want to stop procrastinating so damn much. I just procrastinate all the time, and I'd like to just get more shit done, so I'm just going to stop doing that. Uh, the fourth goal I have is I want to get fit. So I want to get back in the gym and I have a few personal goals in this avenue that I want to reach. I don't know, health is wealth, baby. And lastly, I want to journal regularly. So for me, this will only look like writing a to-do list every day, maybe five to seven things. And then I want to tick those off gradually throughout the day. Um, super rewarding thing to do, get more shit done. Uh, hopefully this helps me make some, some progress in my life. Finally, I want to, no, I will, I will work on my video and photography skills. The main goal here is to hit a thousand YouTube subscribers, as I think 
by that point I'm making content people want to come back to and that means I'm making decent content and that's really the aim isn't it? Aside from all these specific goals which quite frankly I know none of you probably care about uh, I just want to get out of my comfort zone and do as much shit that I'm passionate about. I just want to have heaps of memories this year, do heaps of stuff that I love and I think that's ultimately how I'm going to make 2022 one of the best years of my life.